right, uh, this is Jacob, otherwise known as JJax, and uh, this is The Messenger. Um, at the start of the video, I would normally like to give kind of a history with the game, uh, with a game, something that I, maybe I have some history playing or know a little bit about, and in this particular situation, I know next to nothing. So this is going to be a totally blind playthrough with the minor caveat that I played the first level to balance out sound and things like that, but I've deleted the save. Other than that, this is going to be totally blind. Um, this game came out earlier this year, has received absolutely obscene praise. Um, hopefully I'm starting to see some of that. I can already tell you the art of the music are absolutely spectacular. Hey, still no signs. I'm not going to spend too much time. I'm going to try to keep these videos at around half hour, a little bit shorter. Um, so I'm not going to spend too much time scrolling through the text. I'm going to read them. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read them at your own pace. Um, I'd like to focus on gameplay. That's what I feel like these games are mostly about. Um, now because I've played the first level, I'm already a little bit familiar with the cloud step mechanic. Um, so I'm going to kind of just be blazing through these tutorials. Now I have a pretty, uh, pretty thorough history of, you know, playing these old NES hard titles. I mean, I, I was raised on things like this. And, um, not to mention, you know, I played a lot of the, uh, the quote-unquote hard games that have been released recently. I mean, I'm obviously referencing things like Super Meat Boy uh, and the like. Um, and I was raised on games like this, Ninja Gaiden, Sonic, Mario, Mega Man. I mean, these are the kind of things I played growing up. So these, these platformers, uh, they feel pretty much right at home. I love this boss, or I love this, uh, this demon's design. I think the first thing that got me about this game more than anything was the fact that this is, thus far, this is the nicest pixel art I've seen in any game. Uh, and that's saying something. Because there's a lot of really good looking games out there, but this one kind of takes the cake. Um... On that note, I know that eventually the game becomes 16-bit, um, but I don't, I don't really know when that happens. I'm actually really looking forward to it, because if, if this looks so good, then I'm sure that the 16-bit's going to look absolutely gorgeous as well. B -b -b Bing, got the scroll. All right. The game should be starting, or the real game, rather. If, if I get quiet at all, uh, I apologize. I I, I kind of just get sucked up in this music. I love listening to it. This is probably the kind of thing that I'll listen to on my own time. Just because it's so well done. And I mean, I think it, most of the people that played it can corroborate that. Pretty standard fare thus far. So when I first, oh, I'll, I'll tell this, uh, tell this bit when we get there, but when I first saw those fireball guys, all I wanted to do was cloud step off of their fireballs. I just was, in my head, I knew that was going to be a thing. I wanted to do it so bad, and I kept trying it. I ended up, I ended up getting here at like half health, uh, during the sound test, and... When I saw that you could eventually, um, you could eventually purchase that ability, I just was so excited. Right here, I saw this and just, oh, I got so happy. This is, I feel like this game's gonna eventually be really cool to watch and to play, and really reward 
um, mastery of the mechanics in, in a way that not a lot of games can do properly. All right. a cool little segment. I kind of feel like you're supposed to, and I, I use the term supposed to obviously lightly, but kind of feel like you're intended to buy that fireball jumping, or rather the cloud step upgrade off projectiles there. Um, because there just seem like so many opportunities to take advantage of it uh, in the very near future. Um, those big green power-ups, uh, they fill up your health. Um, I haven't taken any damage yet, so... Oh, I, and as I say that. So I'm not going to try super hard to pick them up. Um, or at least rather that one. Starting now, I'll obviously be on the lookout for them. One thing I kind of want to point out is... Uh, the enemy variety. Um, now, I, on surface level, you'd say, oh, these all kind of look like the same thing. They're different color. Uh, what I really mean is, is variety and mechanics. Um, it is really interesting the way they use these, uh, use the enemies together, and I'm excited to see what they do. Also, if you'll notice, another great touch, how the music gets muffled when you're underwater. I thought that was interesting. Not the most exciting thing to talk about, but... Again, worth mentioning when it comes to uh, little touches and things that really put this game over the edge. But I'm going to stop pretending like I know what I'm talking about. I've really only beaten this first level, so... Alright, avoid the spikes, climb... I wish, I, I wonder if later in the game you get the ability to slash at these spikes, uh, kind of Hollow Knight style. Because you can, Hollow Knight, in that game you can slash at spikes and bounce off of them. And that was a really interesting mechanic. It was a good way to kind of reward players who uh, explored a little bit when they didn't necessarily have to. Oh, I tried to do something cool there. <clears throat> Didn't happen. Okay. What else can we buy? Let's go ahead and pick up the shuriken here. Um, and I guess let's get some hit points. That's always good to have. Now, I, I am under the impression... Uh, I, I say I'm under the impression. The little blue diamonds by my health denote my number of shurikens. Uh, they don't necessarily label them as shurikens. They call them like energy or something. So I, I presume they'll eventually be used for other things later. Oh, dang it. Oh, that hurt. It took, did I take three points of damage from that fall? I didn't see. I didn't think I was already damaged. The old sword travels through the wall trick. We'll never get old. Oh. Now, I think if my memory serves, we're coming up on to the first, presumably of many little, uh, of those green coins, um, that unlock something. I really don't know. Oh, damn it. Oh, 
your your first hint was right there at that wall when you had to slash through to get through. And I will say, I am proud of myself that I did actually find that when I was sound testing. I played up into the first boss of this level. And I was very proud of myself, and I'm a little bummed that I wasn't able to capture uh, that first that first kind of moment of discovery when you go off the beaten path and get rewarded for it. That's always a fun time. Then you smashed instead of collecting. Uh, this game seems particularly self-aware. I can imagine there's going to be a lot of humor elements to it later. And I'm dead. Tried to go too fast. Who's this? A new customer. It happened, I almost just died. Strictly speaking, you did. Still feel agonizing pain. Oh, great. I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad. So, oh, there's an achievement for that. It's cool. Oh, what an ass. He takes all my stuff. I kind of want to go back earlier in the level and recollect um, the ones I got earlier to to feed him, kind of pay him off. I don't want to be out a bunch of currency. I don't know if this, uh, this early stuff is particularly important, but... Okay, he's gone. I just saw him writing something. Okay, cool. All right, so nothing happened. This is just me back here. Um, you didn't see anything. I didn't die. Cool. I wonder if... Now, it's... The problem is, uh, I've seen so many trailers and reviews of this game that you... I, and I presume every one of you, have seen glimpses of what this character's abilities eventually will be. So it's kind of hard to stay, you know, pretend to be surprised by all of it. When I see him, you know, gliding and doing swimming dashes and stuff in reviews. But I will try my best to remain as absolutely shocked as I can. Um, knockback, do recovery. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like I see that and my first thought is there's probably going to be some kind of D-boost thing that you can do. What is this? Don't touch the cabinet. Okay. I didn't do much exploring. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so this is the last thing I did. So this is the last, uh, the last moment where I'll have any idea what I'm doing. Is this boss. guy okay cool I wish I wish the boss that boss is a little harder I understand he's probably a tutorial bit but uh I kind of got I, I kind of got his pattern very quickly um, I wish there was a little bit more to it but that'll probably not be the case later on Okay. Ooh. Do I still just have access to the same stuff in the shop? Yeah, okay. This seems somewhat limited. I hope that there's more to this. 
um, than just like those that handful of upgrades. I mean, I can imagine there will be because I don't see any of the stuff that you know I've seen in trailers. What's over here? Oh. Oh, get paid. All right, cool. Is this gonna fall? Yep. Oh. So now I'm gonna, okay. So I guess the levels aren't necessarily linear. That's interesting, what's this little guy all about? You know, what kind of creature are you? I mean, there's a Phobokin? Builder is technically hardworking, but every one of us is cursed with a unique fear. What we're named after. What's his name? Necro. I gotcha. I fear the dead and somehow ended up in the catacombs. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> That's funny. Ooh. I think I moved a little bit faster than I anticipated he would. Look at these fire guys again. It's kind of interesting. Keep it. Getting lucky and noticing all the extra stuff. It's all right though. I, I don't think I, I assume it'll become much better hidden later. too fast. This is reminds me of a story, but I can't tell it because I only get one sentence per death. That's funny. I like how self-aware this game is. I wonder if it's a set number of how many things this guy takes, or if it changes every time. Oh, that doesn't go through stuff. Do these big crystals come back? No, but the lamps do. I can use to help pay off this guy. This is an interesting mechanic, but I don't really know... Okay, he's, he's gone. I don't know how much I like it. I really like... Um, the souls method of you know death punishment where in an ideal world when you die you get back to where you were better off for it and you end up being stronger at the end of the day the whole punishment thing where he takes your experience I feel like that might uh, I don't know I don't know how I feel about it yet I think it depends on how many he takes and it might just be to prevent people from farming and getting super strong. Oh, these are the these are the enemies from Mega Man. When I'm on the same plane as them, they move much faster. Got it. I was kind of wondering because all those skeletons seem to move at variable speeds. All right, time to take it slow. All right. 
should be able to buy just a boatload of upgrades. Okay. Um, enemies will sometimes drop globes to restore a key charge. Oh, X while swimming to dash? I want that. It's just HP up, key up, defense up? No. We're dashing. Losing weight, gaining ground. I got some achievements for that. I don't think they're going to show up on, on the video. Because um, they're not technically in this window. So... If you're looking for an achievements guide, uh, I apologize. This won't really be it. Okay. That thing looks so cool. And it's, it's cool because that's the same kind of obstacle we've been dealing with all game. Oh. But that one looks different than the ones before it. So is this is this a reward if I chose to buy the dash? Ooh, all right. Okay, so that's. opens up that was way which I honestly kind of feel like although less time consuming is a little harder because I'm now traveling at the same direction the spikes are facing which I don't know maybe I'm overthinking it wouldn't be the first time with a game like this I somehow dash through these Super glad I got that dash. Oh! This would be really difficult without it, I feel. Again, I feel like the path of progression... Oh, shit. Ooh. I didn't realize I was going to stop. I thought that was just going to crush me if I didn't get there in time. I feel like the path of progression in this game, as far as skills is concerned, is somewhat linear. I mean, I guess, I guess not necessarily linear is the term I'm looking for here. Um, but there's there's things that they expect you to get, and then the puzzles for those things are placed shortly afterwards. So I don't really know how much choice you have in the matter, realistically. I mean, obviously you've got plenty of choice, you don't have to buy anything, but it seems like if you're looking to full-blown complete this game, you really only have one option. Oh, that was just going to lead me down to a pit. Alright, that. I've got this level's gimmick down. And again, I don't... I don't want to kind of put off that this game is simple or that it's easy. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like it is. I feel like it's well designed and that the hints are there. Can I jump down there? You cannot. You cannot. I kind of wanted to go and grab the wall and see if I could just slide down or... Alright. We're doing that again. bet see I'm seeing a lot of little stuff like that like how that enemy aggroed when I went down instead of forward I feel like there's a lot of little speed running tricks in this game that I'm not necessarily privy to and that would be really fun to get privy to I don't know maybe I'll maybe I'll try speed running this game at some point or maybe I'll just hundred percent it and move along oh okay 
these guys in motion is a new is a new thing. What, are, what is this guy? I guess he's dead now. I don't just kind of panic slash and it worked. Oh, I didn't even notice that little devil guy's gone. I forget his name. But he's gone, so that's good. So now I'm getting all my uh, getting all my stuff. Six minutes. I'll. I want to finish this level. I want to. I want to see what this has got going on for it. As far as boss is concerned, and I don't want to. I don't want to cut off in the middle of the level. Let's do that. Oh shit! Well, that was a good idea that didn't pan out. Do I duck under these? Okay. I know it's gonna happen here. Spikes are gonna go forward. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to freak out. Oh, they're still going. Okay. Ooh, and if you're too close, you get crushed. Putting those, uh, putting that collapsible floor at the very end of that. Terrifying moment. I'm sure that if it was really close, that would have been frightening to say the least. Being able to slash the projectiles is just the best thing ever. hidden walls like like Castlevania style hidden walls. I know that there's the obvious ones that are breakable but I wonder if there's any ones that don't look breakable but are. Ow. Oh, and the recover gives me a cloud step. Okay, cool. Um... To those who might not have caught what just happened there, um, when I got hit by that fireball, I tapped A um, in, during the recovery frames, and my character kind of flipped, and I was wondering exactly what would happen, and it turns out you just get another cloud step, so that's cool. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe that restores key. Neat. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe that gives health. Um, I'm going to do key first. I'm not really losing a lot of health. I'm just getting instant killed with cliffs and shit. Um, but I feel like using these ninja stars is going to benefit me quite a bit. Maybe at this boss coming up? Cool. I assume because of the health and mana thing. Ruxton is this guy's name, I think. A visitor. You... Great, just when you think you get to play with your evil lab. <laughs> the messenger. Oh, that guy, this is funny. This is hilarious, honestly. Okay. There's just... Alright, so that's how I avoid that attack. 
Oh. Can I climb up there? Or maybe throw ninja stars? Oh, that does work. kind of go in. Alright. I got the hang of this. This is no problem. We're good here. I kind of hope he has a second form. This kind of follows my same critique as the previous boss. Just having these three attacks and you know dealing somewhat low damage is not a threatening boss does not make. Ow. Okay, he fired that faster. He heard me. Cool. Oh, and I got my achievement. Alright, well, I, I believe that's the end of that level. Um, if nothing else, it's a good stopping point. So, thank you for tuning in. Um... I'll be trying to post these. My goal is to post a little play session every single day. Um, just as I progress through this game. Maybe it'll be more of this game. Maybe I'll post some gameplay of something else. Not 100% positive. Uh, but again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, again, this has been Jacob, otherwise known as Jax, And I'll see you next time.